Welcome back, boys and girls. So now we're on our second portion of our lesson. So you're going to um, skip pages 10 and 11 and read 12 and 13 and draw this organizer in your journal. And you're going to compare and contrast the agricultural techniques used by the Maya. How are the techniques similar and how are they different? So boys and girls, you're going to draw this organizer, this Venn diagram, and you're going to put your how they're different and alike in the middle. And you're going to put the um, agriculture uh, techniques um, that they have. So two, two different ones that they have. Also, boys and girls, here you're going to, um, if you need to get log on to your um, Amplify and read pages 12 and 13, you're going to click here where it says click here for student reader. Um, also, again, boys and girls, you should have two similar and two different um categories for both of this organizer. Also in your journal, the paragraphs in this excerpt describe a number of clever ways the Maya people met the challenges of their diverse landscapes to provide food for themselves. Which method or solution do you think was the most clever? Make sure you use the specific de details from the text to explain your answer. So from page 12 and 13, which in the previous um, slide, I linked the link to your um, reader so that you can read them. You're going to describe a number of clever ways the Maya people met the challenges of their diverse landscapes to provide food for themselves. And this will be completed in your journal. So now we're going to do a little word work. So our word work activity today is revolved around the world word symbolize, symbolize. So, symbolize, boys and girls, so we are working on our word work, boys and girls, around the word symbolize. So, on the left side, we have a synthesis of four-leaf clover and good luck, a well-known car company in the simple design, love in a simple heart, the sun in the yellow color and the, and the flag, and the air on the correct direction to travel. So what we're going to do, these things symbolize something else. So the four-leaf clover symbolizes good luck. So we're going to rewrite on the right using this word symbolize so that we get an accurate meaning and understand the meaning of symbolize. So the four leaf clover symbolizes good luck. The simple design symbolizes a well-known car company. A simple heart symbolizes love and the yellow color in the flag symbolizes the sun. The arrow symbolizes the direction to travel. So boys and girls symbolize an example of the, it means to it means to stand for an idea or characteristic. So say symbolize, symbolize. Good job, boys and girls. So that is the end of our reading lesson. I hope that you understood and I know that you did really well. Make sure that you go back through, complete your, um, your activities that you're supposed to complete in your journal. And if you need more clarification, click on the link for the student reader. That is right here so that you can go and read your uh, the other the portions of the story that we read today. Good job, boys and girls. And now you can move on to your writing.